Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Large mesh drift nets are huge tarps as long as 1.5 miles left overnight under the ocean surface by commercial fisheries to catch permitted fish. But they also catch a host of endangered species that get caught in them, such as dolphins and whales. Called bycatch, they're often accidentally killed. Such nets are almost entirely banned off the U.S. coast as a result, with one remaining exception, federal waters off the coast of California specifically. Introduced in the prior Congress, the Drift Net Modernization and Bycatch Reduction Act would, institu would have instituted a five-year phase-out of large mesh drift nets in federal waters off of California. Senate version was introduced by California Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, House version by California Democratic Representative Ted Lieu. Now, supporters argue the legislation protects endangered nautical species and completes a full transition away from a harmful practice that has been almost entirely banned uh, in other U.S. waters. Opponents counter that the legislation would harm the fishing industry and hurt businesses in that sector, not just large-scale corporations, but also including smaller family-owned fisheries. Well, the Senate and House both passed it in 2020 by veto-proof majorities. President Donald Trump vetoed it on New Year's Day, the final veto of his presidency. This didn't leave enough time for a potential congressional override during that Congress because that Congress ended the very next day, a day co <laughs> Congress wasn't even technically in session on Capitol Hill. So the congressional sponsors plan to reintroduce the bill again in the early days of the new Congress, which began on January 3rd, where under Joe Biden, it presumably would not face a presidential veto. Well, thanks for watching this video on the net.